Tanya Rivero, here's a look at the top stories we're following right now. Where is he? Police in New York City are searching for the man they say opened fire in yesterday's subway shooting. Some of the 10 gunshot victims were kids on their way to school. No end in sight. Vladimir Putin vows to finish the job in Ukraine as Ukrainian officials say Russia is using banned weapons on civilians. And the governor of Oklahoma signs a new law banning all abortions in his state, making it the most restrictive in the country. Legal experts say it is unconstitutional. And later this hour, working for a longer weekend, we look at a proposal in California to shorten the work week to only four days. It seems to work in other countries, so why not here? Might be able to get on board with that. And a momentary escape for healthcare workers on the front lines. It's a moment of respite in a very chaotic, overwhelming situation. We see how virtual reality is helping to relieve stress, anxiety, and burnout. We do begin, though, with breaking news. The NYPD officially naming Frank James a suspect in the Brooklyn subway attack in which 10 people were shot and at least 13 others injured. That's right. A massive manhunt is currently underway for the 62-year-old. Authorities are offering a $50,000 reward for information that could lead to his arrest.